so this is Laurel, Laurel with the dabbling hook. How are you guys? It's been a while, been a minute. Um, hope everyone's doing well. Hope your holiday prep season's going well. Mine, not so much. Uh, I'm definitely year three into bah humbugness. So anyway, uh, what am I trying to do? <laughs> Hi to all the new subscribers and to all you guys who are still hanging in there. Kudos to you. Um, oh, hang on. It's just noon time and it's a partial day off. Use it or lose it type of thing. So having some Merlot. Um, why are we here? We are here for, oh, you might hear life noises. Father Minion's off. Uh, Minion 1's home from school. And Minion 2 will probably wake up. He's probably asleep anyway. Um, uh, what are we doing? The seasonal Yarny YouTube Hop Winter Edition. That's why we're here. Um, I can't believe I got my item done because it was a race to the finish line type of thing. And because of work stress and insomnia is why it got done. So, um, what are we talking about? Or what am I going to show you? We're talking about the hop. <sighs> it's been that kind of last couple of months. So, by the way, I did try to do vloggy style stuff. And I think I recorded like two videos and then I completely lost track because of work. So, maybe I might post it. Maybe not. Who knows? But anyway, hi again. Um, seasonal Yarny YouTube Hop Winter Edition. Uh, my item. I have been in shell mode for a while. I've done shawls for Satis Calendical and did I do a shawl for this one? Yes, for the last one I did a shawl as well. So that was the easiest thing because I again wanted to do a wear a wanted to do a wearable and yeah, I don't know what I was thinking because I couldn't get it done for the for the fall. Definitely wouldn't have gotten it done for um for winter. Even though I have two bags of yarn different yarns and different patterns I wanted to try. Not gonna happen. So I did a shawl. I did the snowdrop shawl. This is, oh, hold on. Got my phone for um, reference. It is by Anastasia Zittel. It was, it was a really, oh man, it's a really old pattern um, from, well, relatively old. It's from 2012. Um, first time I did it was in 2014. <coughs> Excuse me. I think I finished it maybe in 2014. I had started it before that. It was a whip for a while. Anyway. Um, yeah, and I figured I needed something um, for Setis Cal as well as for the hop. I decided to combine it and do a twofer. And I needed something obviously that was for the, the winter hop, you know, with a winter theme, as well as, um, since we're doing setas, oh man, sorry, I can't, I can't speak. I'm tired, I hardly slept, I've been working nonstop, so anyway, um, I needed something winter for the, obviously for the hop, and then for the December Cal, the picture, um, oh, glare. I had to put my light on because it is storming. I'll probably put in picture, a little video I took of the, the storm. It's been raining for a day and a half now. Really bad. And the wind is just crazy so there's like terrible lighting so my uh, ring lights on so everything's yellow and off and whatever but glare so we all know who this is this is the picture and this is the first month I really struggled with um, finding yarn I've been really lucky finding yarn in my stash to put together or one yarn that has all the colors and this one was a struggle and um, 
I actually got to use some of my fancy yarn, my hand dyed yarn, to um, to do this. So I had to put three together. I think I've been pretty good getting the colors, but this one, it was good enough. It's it was the end of the year. I was running out of time. So anyway, um, the snowdrop shawl. It's the second time I'm doing it. Um, last time I did it was 2014. Um, I think it's one of the earliest shawls that I, I did. Um, yarns that I used. Hold on. Let me go back to my project page. So I said I was able to use my hand dye yarn. Um, I used a DK and worsted because they're the worsted isn't like it's a light worsted so it, it worked um, I used um, Brujeria Bru yeah my Spanish is bad Brujeria Lana Heathen Squish in DK and what's the colorway it's called El Diablo it's a lovely reddish tone color I use Sister Anance yarn um, I follow both of them on Instagram um, in Lady Slimer. It's a gorgeous, um, uh, let's see, was it chartreuse kind of green, slime green color with speckles mixed in. Oh, I love, I love a good speckle. Just like I love tweed, I love a good speckle. And then you're probably hearing Father Minion's throat clearing in the background, so ignore that. And then, um, Urban Yarn, Urban Girl Yarns Boston. I actually bought it at a local yarn store, well, in Boston, um, close to where my family lives. And the color is Ruth Gator Ginsburg. And the yarns were so pretty that when I clipped the little ends, I decided to, oh, I, do I decided to keep them in here because the colors are just so pretty. So I'm gonna keep a little jar of my um, hand dyed yarn if I make anything else. Um, and just save it so I can look at it. So those are the yarns and I will show you the project. The first time I, I made it I used a um, AC Moore brand. Don't we all miss AC Moore? Um, AC Moore yarn. It was a wool blend, wool acrylic blend, roving style yarn. Um, when I'm editing, if I remember, I will put a picture because I'm pretty, it's on Ravelry. So, but I am, ooh, I still have a stitch marker in here. Stitch marker. This is my favorite stitch marker type to use, even though we all have tons. This is easy to slip in and out, especially when I do amigurumi, it's just easy to use. Um, I did have a locking stitch marker, it's probably on here somewhere, um, just to hold the stitches when I was, you know, when I put it down. But, here's the shawl, and the colors it went from Lady Slimer to El Diablo to Ruth Gator Ginsburg and keep in mind the color scheme is from here so oh, there's greens and in her hat you've got the red and the green and the green in here is sparkly and obviously um, I did not have anything white white so it's an off-white color to make up for it but it's just it's lovely and I think it's gonna be mine um, because right now it's about almost a hundred dollars worth of yarn in here so I don't think anyone would want to pay the price for it because you know it wouldn't just be the hundred dollars worth of yarn so and forgive the lighting it's bad but hopefully <sighs> no I was gonna say I would take pictures but there's no way to take pictures because it's overcast, it's raining, so I can't go out on the deck to take. Oh, and it's also 60 degrees out. It's just, it's weird. But, um, so I won't be able to take good pictures. So, eventually I'll post it on Instagram. So, it's one of those, um, dragon tail, stair step, um, hitchhiker-ish type, um, shawl so it's basically a boomerang shawl with um stair step type edging and i use basically except for the little ends that were clipped and part of that is when i make made the um tassel 
when I evened it out. Basically, I used all the yarn because the rest of it's in the tassel. But this is Lady Slimer. And let's see. Ugh, it's not doing it justice. But Lady Slimer. And obviously, it starts here. It's very simple. It's a uh, single crochet, double crochet pattern. Um, but it's just lovely. Lady Slimer. Oh, the lighting is so bad, it's not doing it justice. And then you move into the El Diablo. Look at that, it's just, it's beautiful. I'm really curious how it would look knitted. But, and then I waited too long to switch, and I didn't want to rip back, so I only had like one um, transition row. And then we moved into the Ruth Gators Ginsburg, which I really like. It's just a it's just a off-white color, which is not being shown properly here, with speckles galore, and I love speckles. So you can see the two two rows of transition. So there it is. It's so pretty. It's so pretty. I love it. I love it and I really think it's gonna be it's gonna be mine. Look at that. So yep. That is my winter hop project, the snowdrop uh shawl. Very simple, highly recommend. Um potato chippy and you get, you know, a simple pattern repeat and then you get the little you know edge design. It shows better here and you can just go for as long as you want I plan on I have some other yarns there that I need to use up uh, number five um, bulky which is a wool blend from Michaels from two years ago and I plan on making a huge one and use up to use up the yarn but isn't it pretty it's so pretty <gasps> and this is also my calendar cal for December, so once I take pictures, I will post that on Instagram and on my Facebook page, but... Alright, so, um, that is it. I know it's a little bit lackluster, but it was a slog trying to get this done in time. absolutely love it and the best part is I got to use my purchase yarn which is awesome because I'm looking at so much of it and I almost want to make more of this because it's just so easy you get to see the yarn in all its glory and you get to use up stash and I think this is the perfect size to wear it like this to show it off and you can still throw it over your shoulder if you need to for just a little shoulder cover oh, and just imagine it in a bigger yarn it, it would just be massive so I am definitely definitely thinking of remaking it so I think I used a total of 691 yards with a um, six millimeter hook and I think I could have gotten gone bigger just for a drapier look because because of the stitch the single and the double it is quite tight so and I did uh, steam block it and it's still pretty um, solid enough oh, I love color I love color okay so that is it I hope you guys uh, have a good holiday because I doubt I'll get a video out before the end of the year I'm gonna try I'm supposed to be off the last week so I'm gonna try but um, I am I have so many whips but I actually want to start another one of these and I have so much yarn to use why not and I can get a start on shawls for next year's um, craft fair this would be perfect all right that is it thank you have a happy holiday uh, Merry Christmas happy Kwanzaa happy Hanukkah I don't know when anything was and is and all that so talk to you guys later bye oh by the way don't forget um kim the crafty nomad i should have said that in the beginning this the hop is 
was and is run by Kim. I hope we're doing this. Again. Of course, it ran out on me. Um, I hope we're doing this next year. And um, what was I going to say? So, oh, I want to say thank you, Kim, for hosting, for keeping us on track. Um, and go check. There will be a playlist down below of all the other hoppers, the participants. Uh, go check out all their videos and show them some love. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye.